please like, subscribe, share. It does help me out a lot. Welcome to Saint of the Day. Today is June 4th and today's saint is... Saint Mary Elizabeth Hezelblad. Saint Mary Elizabeth Hezelblad was born on June 4, 1870. She started working at the age of 16 to help the family make ends meet. She emigrated to the United States of America in 1888, where she studied nursing at Roosevelt Hospital in New York City. Her first time learning about Catholicism was when she was a home nurse for a low-income family. The f this family cared after her nursing work with them. She developed a strong interest in the faith, and after deep prayer and personal study, led her to the path of conversion on August 15, 1902, which is the Feast of the Assumption. She received conditional baptism from a Jesuit priest, Johann George Hagen, the Georgetown Visitation Monastery in Washington, D.C. St. Mary Elizabeth would take a pilgrimage to Rome, where she would receive the Sacrament of Confirmation. She started to feel the call to dedicate her life to the work of Christian unity. She was welcomed as a guest at the Carmelite Monastery House. The prioress was Mother Hedwig. She fell gravely ill and even had to receive the extreme unction, anointing of the sick. After many prayers, she slowly recovered and held out against all odds. She petitioned the Holy See to make religion vows under the rule of the order that Brigid had founded. Pope Pius X in 1906 gave her special permission to assume the Brigantine religious habit, including its distinctive element of a silver crown. St. Mary Elizabeth would profess into the hands of Hagen on June 22, 1906, which is the Feast of the Sacred Heart. She was instrumental in establishing a monastery of the order on the site where Bridget had lived. She received no volunteers from the few monasteries of the order still in existence. This new monastery would include the care of the sick. She finally received three young women from England to help her on November 9, 1911, which helped the new congregation to be established in some year. Their mission was to pray and work, especially for converting the Scandinavian people to the Catholic Church. On Easter Wednesday, St. Mary Elizabeth Hesselblad would go to her heavenly home on April 24, 1957. Pope Francis approved her second miracle on December 14, 2015. On June 5, 2016, she would be canonized by Pope Francis in St. Peter's Square. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord God, St. Mary Elizabeth, despite her health, found life in you. Despite our health issues, may with the help of Mary Elizabeth Hesselblad, we live for your kingdom here on earth. May the Pope stay strong in you as he leads the church. This we ask through Christ our Lord, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.